Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Wisdom and Light here and I am back with another celebrity psychic reading. We are going to be pulling cards on Quavo and Soeetie. So thank you guys so much for watching and stopping by and subscribing. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys love these readings. If I am pronouncing her name wrong, please correct me in the comment section. I do sometimes mispronounce names but it's never any ill intention. I swear <laughs> all right guys so let's jump on in so long story short the battles versus between who was it Jeezy and Gucci Mane right they had an epic battles verse they were enemies for a long time and they supposedly squashed their beat towards the end and I can respect that they just ended off on a good note I still feel like of course there's some residual animosity there but I guess that's another reading for another time but in the comment sections people were cutting up People were doing the absolute most in the comment sections and nobody said anything. Nobody asked for this person to say this, but Quavo, you still messing with Regine? I'm like, what the hell? And it became this whole thing where the whole internet was like, oh my God. Oh my God, Quavo and Soeidi was a thing. Oh my God, I can't believe that's happening. Oh my God. So it was this whole thing. And, of course, poor Regine, she had to say that's not the case. Quavo had to say it wasn't the case. So, Weedy was like, listen, y'all better clear this up because I'm crazy and it's going to be a problem with me and him. But let's just pull on the vibes. Let's just see what's going on. So, let's see. What is the comfort I'm moving forward? Are they going to last? You know, just, just some good messages. Just some good vibes to throw out there that's really all this is we have the page of cups okay page of cups five of wands okay five of wands <sighs> queen of pentacles okay so let's see what's going on here I'm sorry about the lighting as well, guys. It's kind of like nighttime. And I'm going to buy some lighting to show off my nails. Because my nails are really pretty. I wish y'all could see how pretty they are. <laughs> but I'm um, just working with what I have until my equipment comes in. Let's see. And I hope you guys are having a beautiful weekend. I hope you guys are okay. I hope you guys are in good spirits. We have the Five of Pentacles. Mm. Okay. Oh, snap. The Empress. Okay. Last message. We have the Six of Swords. Okay, so let's talk. By the way, if you guys are interested in this deck, I think it's called the Mermaid Tarot. Okay. So the energy between Saweetie and Quavo, first and foremost, how the relationship even started was very... How should I say it? Untraditional. I do feel that it happened very fast. I don't I don't know how they met. I wasn't there. Haven't really watched an interview with the both of them together. I'm just seeing that the relationship itself happened relatively very fast. And they jumped in because they genuinely had a vibe about one another. Now, of course, to each his own, there's some couples that start off fast. There's some couples where they don't say how they feel until years later not knocking anyone it is what it is love is love right so this was definitely a love at sir this was definitely a love at first sight but it was more for quavo than it was for her i will say that he was the one that approached her first he was the one that was like oh my god i gotta get with her oh my god i gotta see what she's about i will say that quavo was the one that approached her or pursued her more than she pursued him and interesting enough this is a past energy I do feel that they have surpassed that honeymoon phase and now they're getting into relationship problems that any couple can go through. Now, I will say that the allegations that were put out there, it did make Saweetie feel very shaky because I feel what I'm picking up on, she had her suspicions, but I, I'm not going to say that Quavo is cheating. It's more so like there's a lot of women that are throwing themselves at him 
and it's just putting her on edge like she knows she's beautiful she knows that she has a lot going for herself she knows that these things shouldn't bother her but listen i don't care how beautiful you are when you're a woman and you love somebody or you're with somebody it's just never a good feeling when you gotta constantly beat men you have to constantly beat women off of your man okay like if he looks good if he presents himself if he has status women are going to naturally gravitate to that not only that you got women out here that don't care if you're married if you're in a situation they're not thinking about that they're thinking about what they can get out of it so she's dealing with that right and she's also dealing with pressure of constantly having to be on top constantly having to prove herself I do feel that 2020 was about proving herself I do feel that in the beginning of the year, people kind of brushed her aside, but she started really showing that I'm an artist, I have diversity. And I can honestly say that she's worked really hard to create her Queen of Pentacles moment, okay? So I do feel that she has a lot of Queen of Pentacles energy, even though she is a Cancer, she is a water sign, right? She's embodying that, or at least she's trying to, so she can definitely put her best foot forward in her career life. But I can honestly say there hasn't been a big focus on her love life as of recently because she's been so consumed with her career life. So the fact that this rumor came about, it kind of set her on edge. This is the five of wands. This is people actually reaching out, telling her, oh, well, he could be doing this. He could be doing that. He could be la da 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 and that's the vibe that I'm getting. It's not just what people are saying on Twitter about the Regine and Quavo situation. It's people jumping in her DM saying, oh, I saw him here or I saw him doing this. I saw him doing that. Now, what I will say is some of the information that is being sent to Saweetie or has been sent to her or will be sent to her because I'm, I keep picking up people just DMing her, DMing her, DMing her. A lot of this information is old, but here's the problem with the old information. It wasn't discussed. Now, one thing I will say about Saweetie is that she's not going to judge you on your past, but you need to keep her on the up and up about your past. You need to tell her what happened. So if anybody comes at her, she has an answer. So what I'm picking up actually is there's going to be women approaching her about his past. And she didn't know that detail. She didn't know this or she didn't know that. Not that it should matter. But one thing about her, she wants to be on game. She wants to be aware. And I feel like a lot of women are like that. Like, listen, everybody got a past. Let me know what your past is. So if any of your side chicks, if anybody from your past comes at me, it's not going to phase me. I shouldn't hear this for the first time. This should have came from you. That's going to be her issue. Now, in his defense, from what I'm picking up on, it's like, listen, it's dead. It's done. I'm not talking to them no more. But it's the fact that they're coming around because I, I see this happening already or it's going to start happening it's going to start affecting her because it's like if it's nothing why didn't you say anything and the Regine situation doesn't make things better they were already kind of going through ups and downs like any couple okay like come on guys all couples go through ups and downs they're like come on right but this definitely added the cherry on top and she's focused on her career the five of pentacles the empress she really wants to put her best foot forward she really wants to create she really does but there's just something about this relationship where they could make it if they just communicate and i want them to make it i want them to move past it every couple has a moment where they're not sure or work life is starting to get consuming and that's what i'm seeing here just a lot of we could do more but do we have time to do it because both of them are trying to achieve their dreams especially her you know what this reminds me of a long time ago i saw an interview where jay-z actually no not an interview i was listening to a song from jay-z it's called lost ones right and in the song, he was talking about Beyonce, how like she's loving her work more than she loves me. And he was saying at, and he was saying, honestly, at 23, I would probably love my work more than I love my man or whatever. Right. He was saying that in the song. And that's the vibe in this reading. It's like she loves you. Y'all love each other. But she's putting all this effort into her work. She's putting all of this effort into her dreams. So her vibe is. I'm going to have nights where I'm not in the mood. I'm going to have nights where I don't want to. But that doesn't mean that I don't love you. That doesn't mean that I don't rock with you. But just like how you were chasing your dreams back in 2017 and 2018, 
2020 is my season and I'm trying to make the most of it. So it's like she's distancing herself to make her dreams come true. Okay. And she's very, she's very goal driven. She's very ambitious. That's one thing about her too. She's very ambitious. She is very good at proving people wrong, actually. She's competing with nobody but herself in this spread. That's what I'm seeing. I can respect that. So the energy in this reading is not cheating. It's not anything crazy. I'm not picking up on that right now. But what I feel is more so like support me the way I supported you. Be there for me the way I was there for you. I want this to happen for me. So allow me to sleep in. Allow me to not want to get pretty. Allow me to not want to go on date night. I just want to chill. And I just feel like that's the vibe. And Quavo, he's an he's an Aries, right? He wants he wants adventure. He wants to be out. Nothing wrong with that. But Swaydi, she's a Cancer. She's like, I want to stay home. I want to chill. I did all of that already. Okay. So, Spirit, will they make it? Will they make it? We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the nine of pentacles. I don't see them breaking up right now. But if they do, they'll more than likely get back together. That's the vibe that I'm feeling here. There's a lot of love here, but it feels like their work life is going to be pulling them apart from each other. It's not intentional. Okay? And then to top it all off, she's going to be dealing with women from his past reappearing. And we might also hear about that too. This could cause them to separate, but they will find their way back to each other. Okay. Is children promised to her? Yes, children is promised to Sweetie, but she's not trying to make that happen right now. She's so dedicated to her career. And also her label, her her label or the people in charge of her, they're they're kind of um they're putting a lot of pressure on her. There's a lot of pressure on her. So she does feel overwhelmed, but she's handling the pressure very well. But there's a lot of pressure. And there's a vibe when she's around people, she's actually very quiet. She's not as outspoken as she may appear to be. Her sense of humor, how she talks with people, she's very reserved, actually. She has to really like you to open up. She's an open book on her social media, but when you meet her in person, she's actually very quiet. And what I'm picking up on is people actually might misread her as being rude when that's actually just how she is. She's a huge introvert. A lot of people don't realize this, but cancers are not that approachable in person. <laughs> they're very to themselves. They're very, I don't want to say they're mean. It's just like, who are you? Why are you here? Like they are very aware of their surroundings. They are. And I feel like that's how she is. But people that don't know her can misread her as, oh, she thinks she's all that. Oh, she's a bitch. Oh, she's this. She's that. Excuse my language. But that's the vibe that I feel that she goes through. She's misunderstood. And I feel when people want her to open up, she gets defensive. Because it's like, I don't know you like that. And she feels that she's misunderstood. She feels misunderstood. When in all actuality, she's very understood. A lot of people can relate to this. Okay. Um, is marriage in the picture for these two? And there is an energy of her elevating to the point where she may feel like she's outgrowing her surroundings too. That's here. She's definitely transforming and that might not allow the people around her to be comfortable with that is marriage in the card children is promised to her yes but is marriage in the cards for her it's marriage marriage we have the knight of wands the page of swords the knight of cups yes it is but of course not without a little bit of conflict not without a little bit of I was wrong. No, I was wrong. But marriage, yes. Is that her focus right now? No. Her focus is her career. So if Quavo can stick around 
and be supportive of that, they can make it. But if he starts feeling, what about me? Because Aries men can get like that. Then that's where the problem can start. Because when he was doing his thing, she was cheering him on. So now it's time for him to do the same for her. Because she's going to be about her business for the next 10 months. She will make time. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's probably a sign. Hold on. I'm going to take these cards and I'm going to put this one over here. I'm going to keep those cards. Hold on. Seven of Cups reverse. Oh, wow. Look at all these cards. The Ace of Wands reverse. The Four of Swords reverse. The Eight of Wands. Yeah. This is all energy of I'm focused on this. I'm making decisions. I don't know if I have time for emotional stuff, even though I want to make time for emotional stuff. It's very chaotic. Very busy. She's very busy. So their best bet is, of course, making time for each other and everything. Marriage is in the works for her, but there is back and forth here. There's like any couple, guys. But there's a lot of love here. She is promised children. She is promised happiness but not without a little bit of misunderstandings before she gets her happily ever after. The lovers. The reading ends off with the lovers. Either way, she's going to win in the end. Either way, she's going to get what she wants. There's just going to be a little bit of a tug of war in the beginning. Just a little bit. A little bit of shifts and changes. Because she's changing, she's evolving, and it is what it is. It's either people are going to evolve with her, or they're going to get left behind. So that's more than likely in the next coming months, that's going to be Quavo's homework. Are you going to evolve with me, or are you going to get left behind? Because she's got dreams, just like he does, and she has a right to go after them, just like he went after his and made a lot of great things happen for himself. And will he support... Yes, the chariot. He will. It's just an adjustment. It's just an adjustment. And there's a lot of money to be made. She's going to make a lot of money in 2021. She's going to have a very popular song. 2021 is going to be a better year for her. She's going to have a very popular song in 2021. It is going to take a lot of her time. There's a song coming out this year that would do good, but there's another popular song next year that's going to do very well. Like, very well. It will get the attention of the people that she wants to get attention from. There's also an up-and-coming female rap artist that's going to call her out and have beef with her, have an exchange. I actually do feel like um, Sweetie is going to respond and it's going to be this thing. It doesn't feel like Meg the Stallion, guys. It doesn't feel like her. She's going through enough as it is. Bless her heart. <sighs> I can't even wrap my head around that one. Bless her heart. Um, uh, oof, that's another topic for another day. But there's a female artist that's coming at her. And, and here's what's weird. She either sounds like Meg Thee Stallion. I don't feel like it's Meg Thee Stallion, but she might copy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can't keep up with all of the new up-and-coming artists that's coming out. If anything, a lot of you guys inform me on who's out. Like, I feel old. I seem to never know what the hell is going on. And, you know, sometimes people come at me like I do know, but half of the time, I don't know. And I'm just learning. And then I do a reading on it. But there's a female artist that's going to come at her. And she's only coming at her because her label told her, yo, come at sweetie because she's rising up right now and you need that attention. So the beef is going to actually be fake. But sweetie is not going to take it as fake. She's going to take it as disrespect. And you know, I feel the vibe that 
if somebody throws a jab at her, she would throw a jab back. But I actually feel that this person's going to throw a jab and Saweetie's going to come out swinging. Probably going to catch her on a bad day. Mm, that's coming up, but it's not going to affect her money. She's fine. She'll be okay. But guys, she's, she's definitely walking away from emotion so she can focus on her back, so she can focus on her career. Love will wait for her. All of that is coming for her, but she feels very focused on her career, guys. Very focused. Is she in love? Is she happy? Are they good? Yeah, of course, but she's not going to stop what she's doing to make other people happy because she's done that already, and she wants the success that she wants. And she deserves to have that. Bless her heart. Hopefully it all works out for them in the end, and I feel that it will. But that's all that I'm seeing, guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine, too. And I'll talk to you guys later. I love you guys. Bye.